Hey, this is Bea with ICC and Parole Amate. Uh, today I thought I would just jump to L um, because I was on I last week and then consulting my my dictionary, where is it? My etymological dictionary, I noticed that J and K are both featured uh, just for a, like a page and a half each and they're of course of course filled with words that have become integrated into Italian, but they're uh, originally from other um, languages. And um, yes, and I guess starting with the J, there is some French like Jacuzzi, the famous Zola um, letter at the end of the 19th century to the French president about the Dreyfus case. Um, and I hope I said that correctly, I'm not sure. And then lots of English words, of course, um, which I guess could be Italianized with some kind of GI combo, but they just, they're so of the place where they come from. And that is true of all the J and K words I found. Um, they're so part of another context and they're all fairly recent. So it makes sense that they would come in their original format and they've not yet metamorphosed metamorph themselves into um combination of sounds or spelling that is more italian so of course jeans uh jeans as we say in italian uh, uh jersey but also jazz um the music um and then even jam session within jazz um is is used or was used in italian and then other words like Jersey, jockey, or Jersey I mentioned, but jockey, jolly. So the jolly, for example, is comes from jolly joker. Um, and it's that card that can be used, uh, you know, in, in uh, sort of in many different ways. It's, it's um, more the more flexible card, which in Italian we also call matta, the crazy one. And of course, only the adjective has been lifted and not the whole word. So Jolly Joker has become just Jolly. And sometimes it's, it is spelled G-I. Uh, and that is a sign that's been used um, for a long time probably. But you know, many English words that are flat out borrowed uh, tend to be not um, precise or not complete. For example, with um, when email came on, um, Italian in Italy we we called email mail the, the English word mail not pasta but just that and it's still so that word was not included in the Italian dictionary which also dates this dictionary and really dates when language whenever we try to fix it in any written form uh, because of course it continues to evolve which I hope is part of the point of this whole series and then I found other fun words like jet society, uh, which evolved from cafe society once airplanes were possible for people at the end of the 50s. Um, and originally it was um, journalists around the world calling people from, um, young people especially, from Moscow. So uh, Russian who wanted to adopt more of a European Western way of living that was called jet society and then it sort of as of the 60s it became more common use although now i think it's it's used less here and i'm not sure it's ever been common in the us um we have finally junior that is of course a latin word that however in italian it's it's come via the the english and then with the K, the words are much more, um, uh, they're Greek, like kuros for the statue of a little naked boy, or Kyrie eleison, which is from the Bible, um, and Hebrew, uh, like I found Kippur, atonement, which is now, of course, as we um, are close to, to the Jewish high holidays, that is. Um, that is interesting to find. I didn't know it was incorporated into Italian. And then a number of Japanese words like karate, kamikaze. Um, and then we go into German. So for example, the 
German writing, but um, Prague, Ch Czech writer Kafka. Um, the adjective Kafkiano is in there with a K. And much like our adjective Boccacesco, which we explored with the B, uh, Kafkiano is of Kafka, but of course in the style of some of the tales of Kafka that are um, anxiety provoking and absurd um, and so forth. And then there are, you know, there is Kish, Kitsch, sorry. There is Krapfen, which is a kind of donut without the hole that comes from um, Germany. And then a series of words relating in some way to war horrors, some of them from before World War II, but that have been solidified during World War II. So for example, uh, Kaiser was from earlier and so was Kaput. So Kaiser in the sense of um, leader, Kaiser, which is Caesar um, in Latin. And that uh, of course took a much sadder connotation during World War II. And same with Kaput that was used before to indicate the end of something, um, a death. And then even more specifically words like capo, the head of a specific barrack during um, the Holocaust. Um, there are words I expected to find I did not find, but that of course exist in the Italian, new in new Italian, like kebab, an Arab word that comes from different places in the uh, Middle East. And uh, this kind of borrowing will, of course, grow as some other words become obso obsolescent. And I suspect many words will come from parts of Africa and Asia as the borders of Italy hopefully continue to soften. Um, see you next week with the letter L. Thank you so much. Grazie.